In the last video, we saw this proposition here that told us that the DAW product was equal to this proposition here, that the DAW product was equal to the products of the lengths times the cosine of this angle here, the angle between 0 and 180, that's between V and W. All right. So now um, I just have a little word. We talked about R2 and R3. Part of the reason we only talk about R2 and R3 in that proposition is because we don't have an intuition for what an angle is in R4, in R25, in R2015. And so we cannot say what theta is in this case. And so we can't prove that the formula works for the dot product. But the dot product exists and the norm exists. And even though we don't have an intuition for the angle, we could still define it. In fact, there's a theorem called the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality that we will not see, but it tells us that anytime you have um, two non-zero vectors, this interior of our arc cosine here is between minus 1 and 1. And so we can define this angle for any vector in the same dimension. So we don't need them to be in R2 and R3 to define the, dot, uh, the angle that way. So this is what we'll mean when we talk about the angle between two vectors in R25. And again, well, we can't prove that this formula is true because we're defining the angle for this formula to be true. And so this formula will prove only in R2 and R3 where we already know what an angle would be.